Just stay tuned if you want to learn how I did this Lily Rose Depth look. So first step is basically just canceling out any darkness you have under your eyes and just using also concealer to highlight the bridge of your nose and your upper lip. It'll make it easier to draw on your lips afterwards. I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Next, I want to use a darker cream contour stick and just kind of go ham with this. Just draw in and exaggerate the curves in your cheeks. It'll just make it a little bit easier afterwards. So as you can see, I'm kind of making this C shape that goes up to almost the corner of my nose and we're trying to simulate her cheeks so they're pretty pronounced I'm also gonna draw in my chin to make my face a little bit more heart-shaped like the lilies kind of eyeball it <laughs> as you can tell I'm totally an expert in makeup I do this all the time looks like I'm making a beard for myself <sighs> just go for it it's gonna work. And I use my fingers. I rarely use brushes. I find that brushes just don't do it for me. Don't look as dewy. Not half as dewy as you should anyway. And so, yeah, you just wanna do, like, make the shape of her face kind of pop out because she does have, like, really high cheekbones, very defined jawline, so. Those are like key things that you want to go for. So, not looking too bad so far. Then second thing, contour up here. I don't know what that's called, but it's like where your, your brows kind of connect and show the line towards the rest of your nose. So we're going to want to just like make our noses just a little bit smaller. You want to darken your eye sockets. So I'm using this very old Naked Basics palette and I'm going to go for this Venus color here. Any white will do. And just pop that in the places where you need a little bit of highlight. I'm going to pop that here as well. You do want to make sure that you put a lot of emphasis on your cheeks. So, put a little bit of lightening product right here. And as you can see, me making any kind of makeup kind of looks like finger painting. Which is honestly what it is. So that's exactly what I mean. I'm gonna go with this is Lizuatsi Majestic Duo Contour and Blush. I'm just gonna go for the blush. Top off the excess. As if I'm like this YouTuber and makeup artist. I am so not. I'm so well, I mean I'm sure it's obvious because I don't have like the whole, you know, like the setting and all that stuff. And like my my skills are obviously like very patchy to say the least but you know i'm just having fun and i hope you're having fun watching this if you are <laughs> thank you for watching i appreciate it okay so once you've done that you just want to make sure that it's really well blended the bronzer up to here very good idea because it will define the cheeks even more. Like hers, a shade in the rest of your face. And take the, sorry, I'm not even showing you. Take the blush and then kind of apply it real high. Real, real high. If you're still watching this, God, you're a good team player. Okay, I'm just gonna add more blush because. I like me some blush. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Whatever. Um, this is Gimme Brow by Benefit. It's not really doing much for me, but 
I'll just start with that. That's quite straight brows that go up. So we're just gonna mimic that. We're gonna end just a little bit here, and that is to tie into the illusion. Then we have a smaller nose. You can also use whatever is left of the brown color and kind of define the tip of your nose just underneath, like that. Guys, I'm just gonna make you guys like take a moment to realize that this is not a going out look, this is a costume. We're gonna do the eyes, which I think is like the most important. Not the most important part, but it's important. So we're just gonna go with a dark brown and we're gonna work it into the very outer part of the eyes. The point is you just wanna like bring your eyes to be a little bit more elongated than they would. I guess I'm gonna call this good enough. Like you get the gist of it. It kind of gives you the look. Then we're gonna do eyeliner. So, I'm using the camera to do this, so please be nice. And here I was explaining how I was trying to elongate my eyes. So this is really the foxy eye look you want to do. So from like the very corner of your eye to the extreme of it, basically. Just make this like very cat eye look, right? So you can see the tip starts like really ri like ridiculously low and goes high. That's the whole foxy thing. And I'm bringing it down sharply from that point on to here. So I'm kind of making my lip look longer from up as opposed to like white. Enjoyed this. It was so ridiculously not well planned out. I'll take you outside. See what it looks like. Did I get it? <laughs> now you can see a lot of the emphasis is necessarily going to be on the cheeks, which I think I got right. I definitely did not nail that color for the brows, but you get you get the idea. And I hope you liked it. I had fun doing it. Hope to see you soon. And uh, I'll see you in Bye.